Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's talk about a cool Affinity Felto feature, which can be a lifesaver when working with images having a perspective. I'm talking about the live projection feature. Suppose we have this image and we want to fix the windows with the shades. So all the windows look similar. I would probably use the clone stamp tool or the inpainting tool to replace the windows with the shades. So let's try the inpainting tool. Not bad, but as you notice, it can't do a good job because of the perspective. And this is where the live projection comes into place. To enable the live projection, we can go to the layers menu and select perspective projection from the live projection menu. Keep in mind that this only works on pixel layers. So first we need to rasterize the current layer to a pixel layer. We can easily do this from the layers menu or from the context menu in the layers panel. Now that I have a pixel layer, I can enable the live projection perspective. This will show up a perspective grid and let's adjust it so it fits the same perspective as the building with the windows. After I set my perspective, I can switch to another tool and the layer is now shown straight as if we were in front of it. Affinity transformed this perspective to create a 2D plane on which we can work. Because the windows are all straight now, the in-paint can do a much better job. Also, it's going to be much easier to use the clone stamp tool, as you don't need to adjust your cloning to match the perspective. Pretty cool, isn't it? To go back to see the normal view again, we can use the select tool and press the edit live projection button. And once we're done, we can press the remove plane button, but before doing that, let me share another cool feature. We can merge down layers to this layer and they will be transformed as well. Let me show you what I mean. I can add some text and have it blend in by using the blend ranges. Now, in the layers panel, I can use the merge down function. So this text gets merged with the layer below. If I go back to the original view, see how nicely the text is transformed to match the perspective. This is pretty cool, however, keep in mind that this is destructive. In this example, I would probably have used the live perspective filter. Let me undo that and show you what I mean. Now that I have my text layer back, I will add the live perspective filter to it and then modify the perspective of the text until it matches the building. There is, however, a glitch on my computer. The blend ranges are ignored after I apply the perspective filter. I can fix that by grouping this text and then applying the blend ranges to the group. The advantage of this method is that I can now change my text very easily. Pretty neat. Anyway, let's get back to the live projection. We can add multiple planes to the image and select them. The selected plane will be our working plane. Once we are finished, we can remove the planes and the image will be returned to its normal view. In the live projection, there is also the option for the echo rectangular projection, which can be used for 360 degree images. Let me quickly demonstrate this with another image. Awesome! We can now use the merge down trick to make changes to the 360 image. Let me find a nice empty wall and paste a painting. As the 360 image has perspective, I will add a live filter to the painting which will match the current perspective of the wall. Next, I'm going to group it and apply a shadow to it. Finally, let's merge down and see our end result. Awesome! And pretty amazing! Well, I hope this has given you some inspiration how the live projection can be used. Thanks again for watching and if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.